Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Shark Carpet Expert Carpet Cleaner. Shark, who has been one of the leaders in the upright vacuum market, has introduced their first carpet cleaner with the EX201. We bought one and put it through a ton of tests over several weeks, and though I was initially skeptical that Shark could produce a good carpet cleaner on their first try after testing it head-to-head -head against its competitors and comparing its results with all the other carpet cleaners in its class, the Shark Expert is, as far as we're concerned, Concerned, the new king of the carpet cleaners, at least for now. And in this video, I'll explain why. So links in the description, and let's get started. First, the basics. The Shark Expert operates by first filling its clean water tank with warm water and the included solution. You also fill up its separate oxy tank with Shark's oxy solution. You turn it on and pick either the deep clean mode or the express mode, which uses less water and dries faster. Then you simply vacuum back and forth like you would a regular vacuum to clean the carpet. The machine automatically mixes the solution and dispenses the water, so there's no need for a trigger to manually dispense the water. It also has a built-in hose and attachment set for spot cleaning, but we'll talk more about that later. Starting off with the pros, the first thing I'll mention is the power. We measured its sealed suction at the hose and at the base, and its unsealed suction at the floor head, and it was one of the most powerful carpet cleaners we've seen, with way above average numbers at the floor head, for example. Suction is a metric that matters more with carpet cleaners than vacuums, in my opinion, since it directly translates to better water pickup. And as we'll see later, the Shark did great with water pickup in the head-to-head -head stain tests. Another pro is its onboard hose. This is the first and only carpet cleaner that I know of that has its hose on board, meaning that it's always with you. So if you see a spot while cleaning, you can quickly deploy the hose and pick it up. This is contrasted with most carpet cleaners where if they have a hose, it's something that you have to go get and then attach to the machine, which is kind of a hassle. So I think this is a big deal. The attachment set is also premium. The main brush is sturdy and worked well on the various tests we did. On a head-to-head -head attachment test, for example, with the Bissell Hydro Steam with wet grape juice stains, where we did one pre-treated test and one test without pre-treatment, the Shark did arguably better in both cases. The main brush has a plastic attachment for particularly nasty messes. It also comes with a pet urine brush, which keeps the majority of the urine separated. It also has what they're calling a crevice tool, which is another thing I haven't seen before. They're saying it's good for hard to reach places. It also comes with a hose cleaning tool and extra solution. Another pro is the dual activated solution dispensing. The idea here is that you keep the oxy fluid separated so that it activates on contact, giving it a power boost. Shark claims a 20% boost in cleaning power, which may explain some of the following pickup test results. We tested it with dried on coyote urine. One set of stains was pretreated with hydrogen peroxide, and one test was only using their respective solutions as directed. Here, the Shark seemed to outperform the Bissell Hydro Steam, which is impressive considering that the Bissell Hydro Steam was our favorite carpet cleaner before this. We also tested it against the Bissell 2X Revolution, which we also highly rate, this time with some dried on dirt stains, and it was at least as good, if not better, than the Bissell 2X Revolution. I found this all to be very interesting considering the Shark's roller is unique in that it's only one roller, where the trend has been to have two rollers, and the bristles aren't especially stiff on the Shark, which has been the case with most of its competitors. It may be because of its fast spinning brush or the suction power or maybe the oxy mixture, but whatever it is, it's working. Another big pro for me is it's easy to empty dirty water tank. Emptying the Bissell's water tank is a chore by comparison, but the Shark's tank is just two parts with lots of space to quickly rinse out the suds for storage. All by itself, it's a reason to buy it in my opinion. The ease of use is good. It's not light by any means. It's still a flagship carpet cleaner, but it is lighter and more agile than most at only 18 pounds compared, for example, to 22 pounds for the Bissell Hydro Steam. Moving on to the cons. The smaller water tank had me worried. It's only three quarters of a gallon compared to most of its competitors, which have one gallon tanks. I wanted to see how much the tank size mattered, so I tested the Shark's water usage against the Bissell 2X Revolution, which has a one gallon tank, and found that the Shark actually outperformed the Bissell in terms of how many timed passes it could do, 16, versus the Bissell's 15. This means that the Shark uses less water per pass in max mode than the Bissell, but it should be noted that the Bissell has 
three water modes compared to only two on the Shark, and I only tested their max mode. So the Shark Expert has one of the best power numbers I've seen. It did amazingly well with the wet and the dried on stain tests, even against some of the best carpet cleaners in the industry. It has one of the best attachment sets out there, its onboard hose system and its Oxy Solution mixture system, as well as its easy to empty bin are all game changers and make it well worth the premium cost. And so we have officially updated all the links in the description, as well as our website where we keep an updated list of our five favorite carpet cleaners. So links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching. All of the links in our description section are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. If you don't know where to start, check out our latest vacuum buyer's guide video linked here. You'll also find links to the vacuumwars.com website in the description where we post all the latest vacuum news as well as much more detailed top five lists in multiple categories.